Now, this is not a how-to video. This is to teach others doing the same thing that I am how to do it. I make these videos to basically teach others how to do this. If you're just starting an outdoor power and don't know how to do this, that's why I make these videos. Well, what do I have here? Oh, a John Deere from 2001, I believe. JS63C. I'm not a huge fan of these. This one was given to me, so I accept, uh, yeah, from 2001. <laughs> and, uh, this is a project that I started on. As you see, it's been leaking gas. I don't think there's anything left in the tank. Ooh, there it is. It's kind of rotten, but uh, this one here I gotta take the whole carburetor off of. So we got two bolts here that take this air air box off, and I believe they are a 10 millimeter. I am wrong. They are a 5 sixteenths. I'm going to say, and it is a 5 sixteenths. There's no it's there's no gas in the line. I don't worry about it. Whatever's in there can graciously drain out. Look at the water just dripping out. That is just straight up water. That's not good. That's full of water. Look at that. That's water. Full of it. Whoa, that's pleasant. Okay, I need to pinch this line. There is gas in the tank, but I don't want it running up all over everything. I might have just busted the gas light. I'll find out. Nope. This carburetor is easy to get off. Just these two little bolts right here. 10 millimeter. Look just like that and it comes right off. How easy is that? Get out of there you bastard. And there is our carburetor. Yeah, this carburetor is gross. We're going to crack into it. It's time to break into our carburetor. Yuck. Oh, look what's pouring out of there. Oh, yeah, this looks good already. Look at the schmutz on the end of that. That jet is plug solid. See that jet going through the center there? You can't see daylight through it. So I have to get my little reaming tool and clean it out. Bowls shouldn't be glued on like this. That's why this thing won't run. Look at that. This carburetor, I cleaned it twice by hand and with carburetor cleaner it didn't work so I finally put it in a bucket of something called carburetor parts cleaner. This here's a little carburetor and it cleaned up pretty nicely. Now I might be wasting my time because even though I dunked it in a vat of stuff, cleaned it like you're supposed to, a lot of times they're just so bad. So we're going to be reassembling this today. But we're going to get to rebuilding this thing or I should just say building it. And um, This is how you put the needle valve in for those wondering. You hook it like so. Let it hang and you set it in place. Just like that. And you take your float pin. This is the float pin. Take your float pin and you line this up. And the float pin should go in without a problem. Gotta have it lined up or it will not go in at all. There we go. And see, it just slides right in. You want to put it where it's about even. Next, we're going to put on our float bowl, which is like this. And we take our bowl nut and put on like that. And we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. And that's basically how you reassemble the carburetor. That's how you do it, and this is a clean shop rag, by the way. It might not look like it, but it is. And it really cleaned up nicely. That carburetor dip is some nice stuff. All right, on to the mower. Okay, so we're at the mower. And then it's a John Deere 
six and a half horse Briggs intake. Now, we gotta mount the carburetor to the motor. To do that, you got two, two three eighths bolts. These right here, Oop, them right there. We're gonna mount the gasket on the back of the carburetor like so. And I wanna get the bolts started through like so. Just gonna get it started. That one started. That one started. I like I don't like to over tighten anything. You don't want to break the flange on the carburetor. So the carburetor is on there. Next we're gonna hook up our gas line. Next we'll slide the line on, release it, take our clamp, slide it up to about eh, right there. Gas line's on, nothing's leaking, that's good. Next it's time for the air box. Alright friends, this here's the air box. You have this little gasket behind it. That's a brand new one by the way. Um, I'll put the part number to these gaskets down below. Um, behind here, this is where the air box fastens onto. If this gasket is ripped or busted or torn or anything, or if it's missing, it will not prime and it will not run. This makes a seal between the air box and the carburetor so that only air coming in from the top of the air box can go in. If air is bypassing this, it's going to mess up a primer bulb. It's not going to prime and it's also going to be bypassing air straight into the carburetor and it's not going to run. In other words, without that gasket, it will not run at all. You want to line this gasket up, put the bolt right, right through the gasket. There we go. Do not rip or tear the gasket. These things are not cheap, believe it or not. So our gasket, oops, our, everything's aligned properly. Next, we're going to align it to the carburetor air box to the carburetor just get it snug and started these here are five sixteenths we're going to tighten this up same thing don't over tighten you'll crack the plastic all right there we go and the air filter this one's greasy and grimy it'll go on like this